All right, this week we got the glass. We rebuilt the windshield. Found a windshield over in uh, Pikeville, Kentucky, right outside of Pikeville, Kentucky. Gave all the $25 for that nice, fine piece of glass. Has one little problem with it right here, but you know, for $25 for an MGB windshield, it's new. I'll take that all day long. We put the seats in it, got all the carpets put in. Found a problem with the door on the passenger side. One of the nuts that hold all the assembly together stripped out. We'll have to do some doctoring on that, so we're going to put that together next week. So we got the center console to get. Got the seat belts in. All that's lined out, looking fairly sharp on that. So the interior's come right along. All right, we have got most of the car put back together. We took the passenger side door off. We're going to take it down, spot weld the nuts on the back. Interior's all in place. You just get a radio put in. Front's pretty good shape. All of our lines are looking pretty decent. We're going to go ahead and take the rims off of it and have them sandblasted and that should be out rounded out. Alright, we're at Earl's Pump Shop over here off Route 2 outside of Huntington, West Virginia. Got the rims off the MG. We're going to sandblast them and paint them. Consider power coating them, but I think we're just going to blast them and repaint them back to the original colors. Alright, we have our wheels back from Earl's where we've sandblasted them. We went ahead and primered them up so they wouldn't get any surface rust on them. We're going to go ahead and paint them up, at least get the silver done on it, and see how that turns out. Well, we have our rims completely painted up, inside and out. They look fairly decent. We're going to go ahead and let them dry overnight, and we're going to paint the black in tomorrow in the spokes over or on the fill end of the spokes it should look pretty decent all right so next morning the uh, rims turn out excellent they look very nice so we're going to go ahead and mask off the areas that need to be spray painted black and have them fixed up all right got the rims all taped up we've actually sprayed a couple those are the ones that are still taped and sprayed and this is our end result. Actually I threw a beauty ring on just to get an idea. Looking pretty good. It's just pretty easy. Just take painter's tape, take a razor blade, just etch around it and peel away the tape. It leaves a nice finished line and it does a sharp job. We'll get the tires mounted on it tomorrow. It looks pretty good. Now to prevent paint from getting on the back of the rim, cut a little biker board for it so when you spray it the paint doesn't transfer over to the inside of the rim. does a fairly decent job. Alright, when you're spraying, make sure you spray down in each of the holes so when it dries you don't have the silver fading through. That way it's pretty uniformed all around. All right, we're down here in Milton. We got Eric switching out the rims for us. Say good morning, Eric. Good morning, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll get them swapped over. Got them all cleaned up from last night. It's actually a touchless tire changer, which does a real nice job on not skidding up the tires or the rims.
After Eric gets them all mounted, we're going to balance them out and head back and put them on the guard. And okay. we got them mounted now. We are balancing out the tires. Uh huh. Four tire bar. Like the like the horizontal balance. You need to show uh -huh. that. That ain't much weight. Uh -huh. Nope. That's how good the wheels are. There's something to brag about. How good the wheels. Forty plus years old. And look how look how good the wheels are. Don't have much weight. You know. Small weights. That gives you something to brag about. I always brag. Yeah. Because look how the wheels are. It doesn't take that much weight. Retest it. Okay. Okay. So we must be okay. All right, Eric. Appreciate it. Thanks, no sir. Problem. Happy to do business with you.